What's going on guys? So we are here at the really nice area around the Oracle campus to talk about a couple of things. So first of all, I finally got the Hardware 3 upgrade. They sent a Tesla Ranger over to my place and they swapped it. It took about two hours. Um, they were able to restore all my settings. So that's pretty good because I've heard about people having to like, you know, reconfigure everything, which is a really huge hassle, but luckily didn't have to do that. And of course, free of charge, as long as you purchase the full self-driving package. So now we're on firmware 2020.20.12. That adds a couple of new features. Let's uh, let's take a look at them. So we have a GPS update for improving stability and tracking. We have a new game, Fallout Shelter. Very nice. We have some theater mode improvements. So you can control video playback with your steering wheel. And tracks, that's the uh, the music creation software. So some improvements there. I don't think I covered the previous firmware version either. It's a couple of dash cam improvements, backgammon improvements, things like that. Like um, now you can f automatically format your uh, dash cam to the right format instead of having to take it to your computer and then make that Tesla cam folder and things like that. We don't have to do that anymore. But anyways, what you guys were waiting for, this is the new traffic light and stop sign control beta and also the full self-driving visualization preview. What the visualization does is that a lot of different things now actually show up uh, on the map over here. For example, you can actually see traffic lights, you'll see stop signs, you'll actually see garbage cans if you pass them, and, and a bunch of other things. And it, it's actually really, really cool and it kind of shows the power of the Hardware 3. And then also, yeah, with the traffic light and stop sign control, I'm going to turn that on. Designed to slow down and stop for visible traffic lights or stop signs that are detected within traffic aware cruise control or auto steer is engaged, driver accelerator or stop confirmation is required. Uh-huh, we'll continue straight, we'll not make turns, okay. Um, you must pay attention. The maximum speed set is limited to the speed limit of the road. It might be conservative, and then over time it'll learn. And maybe de degraded in difficult environments. Pedestrians in direct sunlight. Do you want to enable it? Of course I do. So we're going to give this a try. We're going to try uh, going to some soft signs, some traffic lights, and stuff like that. And um, if you see this video, it means I didn't die, so that's a... Uh, that's a positive. We are approaching a stop sign. Let's see how it deals with it. It says stopping for traffic control in zero feet. Okay, use accelerator or gear stock to continue. So, um, okay, I just hit the accelerator. Oh, I guess because it's a turn, it won't let me, it won't do it. Like, it's not a straight, um, it's not a straight path afterwards. So let's go and find another stop sign. We're approaching another stop sign up here. So it's going to automatically stop for the stop sign, hopefully. Okay, it stopped. And then I'm going to use the accelerator to, to tell it to go. And there we go, it continues. Very cool, okay. Because before, um, when you were using autopilot on the streets, it would just run stop signs. So this is a pretty good new feature. It, it's kind of pointless if you have to step on the accelerator to tell it when to go, but you're training the, you're training it to like recognize it um, in the future. So probably in the future you won't have to. So here it is. It's gonna stop again, and you see all the visualizations. Okay, comes to stop, and then use the accelerator to go. And it's accelerating kind of slow. Okay, and then I think eventually we'll get to a traffic light so we can see how it behaves there too. I believe for traffic lights, um, even if it's green, it'll still stop unless you uh, press the accelerator to let it know it's okay. I wonder if you have to come to a full stop before you um, tap it. Like, what if I tap it now? Oh yeah, okay. You kind of have to let it get to zero. Okay, here we go. Stopping for traffic control is in 500 feet. And you can use the accelerator or gear stock to continue. I'll use the gear stock. Oh, okay, so I told it it's okay to continue. And it's gonna continue going. Oh, but then it sees the yellow light and it stopped. Wow, good job. It did kind of twist the wheel quite a bit at the end. I don't know why it did that. Um, let's see what happens when it turns green again, if it's gonna um, continue going or if I'm gonna have to uh, step on the accelerator. That's kind of cool that there's like this red line where, so it knows the, the stop before the crosswalk. And here you can see like the lights are matching. Okay, here we go. So yeah, I'm gonna have to step on the accelerator. Yeah, the acceleration is quite slow. Um, off the uh, off the uh, off the line, but very 
very cool. And unfortunately, you can't really go above the speed limit, which is a little bit slow for um, over here. Let me just get behind this other car. So we don't block people, okay. Yeah, it like slows down near traffic lights and then you have to hit the accelerator or else it's just gonna stop all the way, even if it's a green light. So really cool. Um, this is probably as much as I'm willing to try this because I still don't really trust uh, this tech is ready yet. So very, very cool. Very, um, very interesting to see um, um, how like this is bringing us closer and closer to full self-driving. Yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. And yeah, later.